Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back into my channel. So in this lab, we're going to configure extended IPv4 ACL. So this is the part two of the extended IPv4 ACL. So they go to the topology, and there go the addressing table. And there go the lab objectives. Configure a name, extended ACL, and apply. Apply and verify the extended ACL. So let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and pull up packet tracer and start this configuration. So first and foremost, let's make this bigger. Now, what we have here. On part one, we're going to configure a name extended ACL. We're going to configure one name ACL to implement the following policy. We're going to block HTTP and HTTPS access from PC1 to server 1 and server 2. The servers are inside the cloud, and you can only know their IP addresses. So we're going to block FTP access from PC2 to server one. We're going to block the ICMP from PC1 to server. So now, let's go ahead and um, From this router, the big, say enable, conf, oh, conf t, conf t, you could do IP access list extended, say ACL. And we could do, so we're going to begin the ACL configuration with a statement that denied access from PC1 and to the server, only for HTTP port 80. So let's go, we're gonna say deny, Deny TCP host, and then the IP address is 172.1.31.101. Check to making sure that's correct. So there go the IP address for PC1. Let's go ahead and oh, let's go ahead and do. Then we could do host 64.101.255.254. Then we could do EQ80. EQ80. Okay. So now, next, we're going to enter the statement that denies access from the PC to, to the server only for HTTPS, which is port 443. So let's go ahead and do deny host, do deny host, deny TCP host 172.3. That I mean, 172. The three one that one that one oh one host you could do EQ four four three. Now we are going to enter the statement that denies access from the PC to the server two only for HTTP refers to the addressing table 
of the IP address for server two. So if we were to go on there, so there go the IP address for server two, which is 64, 103, 255, and 254. Go ahead. Let's do the nine. Just to one up our all, the nine TCP host 172.31.1.101. That one, that one, that one, that one, one. And then we could do the IP address, to say 64.103. Let's make this 103.255.254. EQ80. Enter, are we good? And then now we're going to enter the statement that the nine access from PC one to the server two only for HTTP, S. So what we do, since we already have the command here, we're gonna just up our and type in 443, which is the port number for HTTPS. Now, we, on step two, we're going to deny PC2 access for FTP service on server one and server two. So we refer the addressing table, we're going to see all this. So now let's go ahead and do, just do the upper hole. And we have what? Denying TCP host 172.31.1.2. That one, that two. And then we're going to call that the host. The host is 64.101.255.254 that that and the EQ is going to be what? The TCP, oh, what am I doing? That was that. That 102, 102. And the host, what number up? 102, what number for, for FTP is 21. So let's double check to make sure if we don't have any typo. On the host, 64.101. Um, Okay. Now, we're going to enter the statement that denies access for PC2 to the server only for H for FTP port 21 only. So now, let's just go ahead and change up our TCP, the nine TCP host, 172.31.1.202 host, 54.103 now, instead of 101. So what we work with here, guys, if you refer to the addressing table, you will see all these IP addresses. So server one is 64.101, server two is 64.103. So, and then you're gonna hit enter. Now let's go ahead and then deny the PC3 to pen the server one and server two. So we're going to enter the statement that deny the ICMP access from PC3 to the server. So the way to do that is to Go ahead and do up our the nine. Raise. Go here and say ICMP, ICMP post 172.31.1.103. Let's make this 103. Then we're going to say the host which is 
what else? Two five five dot two five four. Right? We hit enter. Now, now that we denied the ICMP from the server, I mean from PC3 to the server, let's go ahead and do the, the deny the ICMP from PC3 to server two. So we did it for server one, let's do it for server two too. Opa ho. So then we could just change this to 101. Enter. Now, on the in this step, we're going to permit all other IP traffic. By default, an access list denies all traffic that does not match any rule in the list. So in the command that permit all traffic that does not match any of the configuration access list statements. So we're going to do, let's say we say permit, and then IP any, any, enter. So now, if you want to, you could verify the access list configuration before applying it to an NFA. So before any access list is applied, the configuration needs to be verified to make sure that there are no topographical error and that the statements are in the correct order to view the current configuration of the access list. So you could use the comment show access list or show running config. So let's go ahead and do to show access list. So now you see we have all the configuration that we have done. We could also do to show running conf running conf. Run in conf and then type begin begin access dash list. Okay. So now you see it's it's it does the same. So not that. The difference between the output of the show access list command and the output of show running config comment is that the show access list command includes the sequence numbers assigned to the configuration statement. The, these sequence numbers enable the editing, deleting, and inserting of single lines within the access list configuration. So sequence number also defines the processing order of individual access control statements starting with the lowest sequence number. Now, if you want to, you could apply and verify the extended ACL. The traffic to be filtered is coming from 172.31.1.96 27. So network and and is this I mean is is that is designed for remote works apply I mean appropriate ACL placement depends on the relationship of the traffic with respect to router one. In general, extended access list should be placed on the interface closest to the source of the traffic. So now, if we apply the SCL to the correct interface and in the correct direction, note that in an actual operation network, an untested SCL should never be applied to an active interface. This is not a good practice and can disrupt your network operation. Now, let's go ahead 
and enter the configuration mode to apply the ACL on Gigabit Ethernet 01. I mean, 0, 0, 0 slash 0. To exit, we have the configuration mode. Let's do interface Gigabit 0, 0. We could do IP, IP access group, say ACL, and then we say in. Okay. Now, if we test for each PC, the access access the website on server one and server two using the web browser on PC one. Let's go ahead. Using the web browser on PC one. We could use both of the HTTP or HTTPS protocol. Oh. Where to do? Web browser. So it says host name unresolvable. So, so this is pretty much all that. See something. Say PC. Let's go to um. Uh, where are the IP address is this? It's 31, 101. Oh. Thirty one one dot one oh one. So we got a ping. All right. So thank you so very much for following along. So this is how to configure ACL on a Cisco router. Stay tuned for another video. Thank you.